Ukrainian troops have recaptured almost all the territory of Donetsk airport in eastern Ukraine. They had lost to separatists in recent weeks. The offensive brought fighting close to the industrial city of Donetsk itself, center of a Kremlin-backed insurgency, while shelling intensified in other parts of the region, known as the Donbass. Military spokesman Andriy Lysenko said the army's operation had returned the battle lines near the airport to the previous status quo and thus not violated the 12-point peace plan agreed with Russia and separatist leaders last September in Minsk. Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko, meanwhile, addressed a crowd of several thousand gathered in Kiev for a peace march. Today at night, our cyborg soldiers at the Donetsk airport are demonstrating courage, demonstrating patriotism, demonstrating heroism, and are an example how Ukraine needs to be defended. Over 10,000 attended the event, which remembered the 13 civilians killed by a rocket attack near Donetsk on Tuesday, as well as those who died liberating the country from the rule of Moscow-compliant former president Yanukovych. We will not give up any piece of Ukrainian land. We will return Donbass. We will restore the Ukrainian nation in Donbass. And we will show that one more highly important factor of our victory is our unity. Now Ukraine is united as never before, and our unity is one more guarantee of victory. Despite what Kyiv and the West says is incontrovertible proof, Russia denies its troops are involved or that it's funneling military equipment to the separatists. With its runways pitted and cratered, Donetsk airport has long ceased to function. But it has taken on symbolic value, with government soldiers nicknamed cyborgs and separatists hunting each other, often at close range, in a deadly cat-and-mouse game among the ruins.